Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen. In a past podcast, I showed you how to use the page setup to add page numbers to your header or footer. For review, I went to File Page Setup, chose the Header Footer tab, and in the header, there's a built-in setting to say page 1 of n. This will basically say you know, 1 of 10, 2 of 10, 3 of 10, 4 of 10. And I've gone through in this workbook and added that header to all 12 worksheets from January through December. And so you think it'd be pretty good, but if I go to the December worksheet and do a print preview, you'll see over here that we actually end up with page 1 of 1, even though this is really page 12 of 12. Well, the solution comes when you go to print. If, instead of using the print icon in the standard toolbar, you go to the file menu and choose print, and then in the print dialog, there's a setting in the lower left-hand corner that says print the entire workbook. Now when you click OK, Excel will actually realize that there are 12 pages in the workbook, and they'll all be properly numbered from 1 through 12 as they print. Now if you just had a few pages to print, you could actually, let's say, click on January, control click on April, control click on July, and then do File, Print, and say that you want to print just the active sheets. And there again, the page numbers will accurately show 1 of 3, 2 of 3, and 3 of 3. Now the one important thing, anytime that you group sheets, you notice that we have the word group up here. This is a very dangerous state. Anytime that you make a change in the visible worksheet, it changes in all of the other worksheets as well. So you want to make sure to go through, right click, and say ungroup sheets in order to get back to a normal state. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another podcast from Mr. Excel.